All right, freak. I know it's been a while, man. I've been busy with baseball, super busy with baseball. This is my first free week and I'm digging into your project. So I apologize for the delay, but this is where we stand as of now. Hinges are on. Um, show you how they work real quick. You back this camera up. There we go. But we're probably gonna pull, put a handle somewhere on this upright right here and this upright. Um, I'm gonna bring something up here, I think, to pull on. Can't get back far enough here. So you'll, you'll pull here and then this will come out, obviously. And then we can do your bifold mechanism. The bench isn't level, so it's like wants to swing front a little bit. And then the same thing over here. And you'll have that open. So that vice is, I don't know. I think the weight from that top arc is pushing it this way. So those doors want to swing open a little bit. But nonetheless, we got that done. This is what the inside looks like as of now. That light, I wanted to show you something with that light. But got the piano hinge tacked in. Got all this wire mesh cut out which is a really cool material. I got the same hinges that are in your pizza oven door. All right, so to swing them shut, they swing nice and easy. I got this magnet just sitting here right now to kind of hold them shut since they want to swing open. So push them in, pop them in, everything's golden there. I got let me see that. I got these pieces done with more of that texture that you liked. Got some rivets. Same thing as over here. I don't know. You gotta let me know if you like that blue. I, I'm not really digging the blue. That's just from welding the backside. Got hot and blued on me. They're just plug welded. That's what the inside looks like if you want to look at that. Trying to keep it clean. What's next then, I'm gonna start working on some handles. And then this texture piece, I wanna bring, the deal is I'd like to put texture on this, right? The actual door or the actual frame. But my issue with that is if I start heating and beating on it, it's not going to be flat anymore. And I want it to be flat when we mount it. So I got to watch myself. All right. So what I'm planning on doing somehow or other is one, I want to put some handles on here. They're going to have some texture. Um, I ended up buying a little mini forge so I can heat material up quickly, twist it, texture it, do whatever. Um, but I want to take pieces that are textured, you know, similar to that and somehow work them in across the top. Even if I bring them down, maybe an overlap a little bit. I want the viewing area for the fire to stay as big as possible, obviously. And since we're going to have uh, a helmet here, I don't want to go too crazy but I think I can add some texture pieces either across the top of the doors. I don't think you would see a lot given that it's recessed in the fireplace up here, but that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. That's kind of where I'm at. So I just want to let you know, I have been working on it and picking away at it in my free time. Um, trying to think I do have, well, I don't know where I stuck it. I do have a piece, there it is. I made this the other day and you might get a kick out of it, but I, my nephew found a railroad spike and I made, I made this, I forged this out of a railroad spike. Now, obviously I don't think I'm gonna put railroad spikes on your door, but I do like that twist with a handle, you know, somewhere somewhere in here maybe 
that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm hoping you're digging it so far, man. Um, let's turn the light off. I got a light back there just to give you an idea of what this mesh looks like with some, some light behind it. It's going to be freaking cool. Hang on. I'll turn off the light in the garage here. You can kind of see it. That mesh is freaking sick looking. I don't know if that light really does anything for it or not. There we go. But that fire's gonna look cool coming through that. So anyway, man, hope you like it. Uh, any input, let me know. I have a couple ideas for the helmet. I found a piece of material that's gonna work great for that. I am gonna need some ideas as far as the brass goes, connecting that to it. Um, Coming up with some type of rivets or something so all right man i've rambled on enough hope you like it we'll talk to you soon bye